Everyone might not be a professional artist but still want to make their own DIYs to decorate their homes and at the same time don't have much time to spend on it also. So that's the reason I'm here today to show you some simple DIYs which can be made by anyone as always. Hello everyone, welcome back to Hometastic by Rizwana. Hope you all are doing well. So let's get started with today's video. In today's video, I am going to show you 4 easy DIYs to organize or decorate your home. So for the first one, I have taken a bottle. Actually that's an oil dispenser bottle which I don't use. To decorate this bottle, I have made some heart shaped designs on a paper and I have attached it on the bottle. And I am applying Fevicol on top of it. After applying the Fevicol, let's sprinkle some glitter powder on it and then remove those heart shaped cutouts. And you know one thing, basically I am a very lazy person so that's the reason I choose very simple DIYs. And also I always choose waste materials most of the time to make DIYs because I think that makes sense. So most of the time whenever I am making DIYs, I keep you all in mind and also I think that the product should be easily available to everyone and also affordable at the same time. So like this I have made a design on one side of the bottle and on the other sides also I am going to make the same design. But it doesn't make sense guys you can just sprinkle the glitter and cover it up. You don't need to put a heart shape cutouts on the other side because I think one side should be enough uh, for this kind of design. But somehow I made it. Actually I wanted something glittery type of bottle and when I put lights inside it the light comes out of this heart shape. So we are done with the glitter part guys let's give some finishing touches like i'll just wipe out the glitter inside this heart shape and now to add more beauty to this i am going to make some hanging or uh, to tie on the neck of the bottle so for that also i have made two heart shape cutouts using glitter foam sheet which will be easily available in any stationery so i made this kind of hanging with jute rope and now i am tying this on the neck of the bottle I know here the camera angle is not correct so let me show you the final look now. So here is my bottle ready and I am going to put this in my small crockery unit. Isn't it very easy guys? So you can also make this kind of uh, bottle art if you have any waste bottles available and decorate your home like you can keep this in your bedroom or like a bed lamp or it's going to like brighten up any corner where you are going to put it. I am really in love with this bottle and this is my favorite part in this crockery unit. Now let's make another DIY. This DIY is going to be very useful for everyone and you are going to love this one. So as you can see for this DIY I am going to use a waste trimmer box. And many people commented on my community post like how to reuse the cardboard boxes right. So I am going to show you an easy technique to cover the cardboard boxes and make a best use of it. So I have cut all the edges of this box. Now my box is ready. Now we have to cover this. To cover this I have a simple technique. So I have purchased this jute lace from Amazon which is around 270 rupees but we will get 2 or 3 rolls um, in that. So if we purchase this kind of jute laces we can cover any cardboard box and also give an aesthetic look at the same time. So I wanted something to be easily done so that's the reason I have explored on Amazon for this kind of laces and, and this is the perfect one that I have ever got. So using a glue gun I am going to just attach this lace on this box so whoever don't have much time to spend on DIYs and do the cover the boxes with cloth, jute ropes and all we can easily go for this kind of laces and cover the boxes. If you want to purchase this kind of jute boxes online it will cost you more. But in just 270 rupees you can get 2 or 3 rolls and we can make this kind of beautiful boxes out of waste materials. And we can also use this kind of laces on any bottles to decorate it. There are multiple uses of it. I'll put the link of all these products in the description box. You can check it out if you are interested to make this kind of DIYs. So I have covered half part of this box. Now to cover the upper part which is left, I'll use the jute rope. As it's just a small part, I'm going to cover this up with the jute rope. But if you don't want to go for this jute rope, you can attach the same lace on the upper part also. Or else if you have any other white color laces that will match with this jute lace, you can attach that also to cover the box. So this way I have covered the leftover part of this box and this is looking so beautiful and aesthetic. And now to make the partitions in, inside the box I am going to use the lid which I have cut in the beginning. And I am just covering this up with white color acrylic paint. 
and now I'll be attaching this one inside the box. So this way I have made the partitions and let me show you in some time how I am going to use this box. And to make it little more attractive I am just attaching these white color foam flowers on this box. This is completely optional guys I just have these kind of flowers available so I am attaching it. Now my storage box is ready isn't it looking so beautiful you can also put this in your showcase. Actually, I've been facing a problem to keep all my kids' medicine bottles because I'll be using them very frequently. Like, and also there are few uh, tablets like calcium tablets and all that we'll use uh, on a daily basis. So every time keeping in drawers and taking out is not possible. So we just keep it in the showcases. So that's the reason I've made this kind of box and now everything goes into this box and it's looking very neat now. So if you are also facing this kind of problem with the medicines, you can also make this kind of beautiful box and keep it in any shelf. Now let's move on to another DIY. So for the next one, I'm going to use this empty powder container. Most of you might have this kind of empty containers, right? So we can just make a simple DIY out of it and use this as a flower vase or a small planter also. So I have cut the upper part of this container. Now I'll be removing the sticker on this one as well. This one is also going to be a very easy DIY guys, but we can use this as a pen stand, a planter or a flower vase as I said. And nowadays I am receiving pictures on Instagram from my followers that whatever I am showing in my videos, they are making it and they are sharing pictures to me on Instagram. And honestly, I feel really happy when I see people making my designs and also sharing with me. And I'm so glad that I'm inspiring you all. So here I have painted this container with yellow color guys. It's your choice. Whatever color you want, you can paint it. And now to make a simple design, I'm going to use this deco transfer sheet. These sheets are available on Itsy Bitsy or Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. These are very easy guys. You can just cut the uh, design on this one and you have to just attach it and dab some water as usual. I have shared this one in many videos. Once you have cut the design, you just have to carefully remove the transparent sheet and attach it on the surface. Now dab some water and carefully remove the sticker. Actually, I forgot to record this part how I removed the sticker. So after dabbing some water on it, you, you can easily remove that sticker. So like this, the design gets transferred to the surface wherever you attach it. And now to protect this design, I as usual, I apply varnish on this. I'll mention the link of this varnish also in the description. Many people asked me about this varnish. And now to cover the upper part like the border of this uh, flower was, I'll attach some jute twine on this using Fevicol. You can also use glue gun for this but I ran out of glue stick so that's the reason I'm using Fevicol. And also I wanted to show you that this can be made with Fevicol also. You need not to purchase the glue gun for this one. And now coming to our last DIY here, again I am using another waste box which will be available in every house. These are food boxes and for this one also I am going to use our juice place which I have used in the beginning. So using Fevicol, I am just covering this food container with this juice place. So this one is also another simple DIY guys but we can use the storage box anywhere like on our dressing table. Let me show you how I have used it in my house. So this way I have covered this box with this jute lace. Now to make it little more attractive, I am attaching this ribbon flower that my sister has made. After attaching the flower, this is looking so pretty guys. And that's it, my box is ready. Now I will be using this on my dressing table. Isn't it very easy guys? So you can also purchase this kind of jute laces and cover all this kind of waste boxes and use them as beautiful storage boxes like this in your home. And next to that, I'll decorate using my DIY flower vase. So in this one, you can put some artificial flowers and also you can fill it with some water and put a money plant branch or any branch in it that survives in water. So these are some simple DIYs that I wanted to share with you today guys. Hope you all liked this and enjoyed this video today. If you have really liked it, I request you to press the like button. And if you are new to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be coming up with most affordable, realistic home decor, home organizing and DIY videos every week. 
and also don't forget to mention your thoughts in the comment section guys whatever you have liked disliked or which one is your favorite diy out of this today so that's all for today friends let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care